What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be taking you through my Nepenthes tray watering method. So this is a method that I use to passively water my Nepenthes. I have these heavy duty uh, trays that span the entire shelf length here. On top of the trays is this um, felt wicking mat. And down below, I fill the trays up with uh, water. So the way this works is the felt mats sit in the water reservoir and wick water throughout the entire mat. The pots sit on top of the mat. I have all my Nepenthes in these net pots and fabric pots to increase the amount of contact that the substrate has with the felt. And then the, the felt um, wicks water into the substrate of the pots, keeping the plants uh, evenly moist. So I rarely have to fill up these uh, trays. I fill them up about every two weeks, give or take. Uh, saves me a lot of time in watering my plants and keeps the plants nice and evenly moist. So I just cleared off this top shelf here and I'm going to be building another tray to hold some more Nepenthes up here and kind of uh, reduce some of the crowding that I have on some of these other shelves. So um, I'll take you through how you can build your own uh, passive watering system for Nepenthes like I have here. All right, I've got all my pieces assembled here. This is a really simple system. There's actually only three components involved. Um, so I'll have links to all of the things that I use to build this in the description. But essentially, there is the tray, which again acts as a water reservoir. On top of the tray, I have these platforms which I've actually cannibalized from another self-watering tray system that I got my inspiration for this from. These platforms allow the mat to sit on top without sitting in the water itself. And it has these uh, channels that allow water to flow through um, and go throughout the entire tray. And then lastly, on top, I have my felt mat. So this mat I've cut to size and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck each of the ends, uh, this end and that end, into the reservoir so that when the, the reservoir is filled, the mat is the edges of the mat are sitting in water and then we'll wick water throughout the entire mat. So, all right, so I've got the first edge tucked in here. You can see the very edge of the felt mat is uh, right underneath this first row of platforms. So I'm gonna pull the other side over and tuck it in over here. And that is it. I've got both the bottom edge and the top edge tucked in to the tray. Everything looks good. Next step is I'm going to put this in the rack and get some water in there. Got this tray up on the top shelf here. Looking really good. Now all that's left is to add some water and some Nepenthes. Uh, pro tip, do not add water until you've added the tray to the shelf because these trays can fill upwards of or hold upwards of five gallons of water, and they become very heavy and hard to move. So I've waited until I got it up here to add water, and this is how I do it. Got my gallon of distilled water, and just gonna dump it on the tray. It takes a little bit of effort to get this mat hydrated initially. You can see the water's just kind of pooling on top. It's actually kind of spilling over a little bit, so I've stopped watering for a moment until this has some time to absorb into the mat itself. Uh, it's 
absorbing a little bit. You can just like dunk the mat into a bucket of water before you put it on the tray, but I've just decided to do it this way. I'm gonna add some more water here. And what's nice too is once water has been absorbed into the mat, once the mat is saturated, this water will just flow right through the mat into the reservoir. So I'm gonna try to get some of these other areas wet that haven't been wetted yet. It's a little bit of a process and I will keep doing this until the mat is completely wet and the water reservoir is filled. It should take about five gallons until uh, this thing is completely full. This tray is saturated with water and I dumped about five gallons of water in the reservoir. So you can see it's pretty much filled up to the top. And now it's time to start adding some Nepenthes. This top shelf is gonna be for my smaller ones, leaving the middle shelf for my medium sized Nepenthes and then the bottom shelf for my taller ones. So we'll start placing them around here. All right, here it is. The shelf is all loaded up. Everybody's situated in their place. Middle shelf is a little bit better spaced out. Probably will still tweak things a little bit, but we're looking good. So hopefully you all found this helpful. Hopefully this inspires some of you to do something similar. Um, I've been using this method for probably about nine months now, and it's been working out really, really well for me. So feel free to comment down below with any questions you might have and uh, stay tuned for the next one.